Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another episode of So Calico and Friends. Today, as you can see, we are out on the big bay, big San Diego Bay. And uh, due to the swell and everything, what I'm going to try to do is we're just going to stay inside, see if we can catch some spotted bay bass, uh, maybe some halibut. Um, anyways, uh, I have a subscriber that's supposed to be coming out. He actually uh, slept in. So. <laughs> <laughs> so David's actually going to be showing up here in a little bit and I'll go ahead and meet him back at the dock but until then we're going to go ahead and see if we can find some bodies until he shows up so anyways thanks stay tuned Keep trying different spots until we get hit. Until we find them. We got an old piling right here in the middle. Right here in the middle of this, and it sits at about 30 feet. The rest of the water is at about 45 feet. That's what I'm trying to sit off of because I got we got. Looks like we got some activity sitting on it. It's only a matter of time before I got to move again. <laughs> right. Oh my gosh. This tide is really moving. It is. Looks like it's shore. Oh, get a hit? Yep. All right. Let's move. I'm running this 3 8 ounce underspin, which is a little, seems like it's just a little too light for this, this current we have. I'm having, having a hard time getting to the bottom. Yeah, this 3 8 ounce. Oh yeah, look at that. Picked up the only kelp in the bay. Fish on. Ah, oh, I lost him, son of a... Ah, damn it, dude, he hit that thing hard. Shit, dude, it was like, bam, there it was, dude. Damn it. All right, I gotta move us. Jesus, dude. <laughs> that thing just, bam! <laughs> he hit that so hard thing. We are going into this so fast, it's unreal. Moving us again. He's on the bottom. 
about the head shakes. We start drifting back. There he goes. Got him coming up. There he is. There he is. Don't break. I only got 10 pounds. There he is. He's pulling. He's pulling. He's pulling. He's pulling. Off that lure. <laughs> Damn! Pull that guy right off the bottom. He probably weighed about 40 pounds, 30, maybe 30 pounds. Big skate on 10 pound test broke me off right at the boat. Yeah. Anyways, everybody uh, tied off again. We're gonna reset. Um, I have to apologize for the cursing. <laughs> I sent David to operate the boat and kind of threw him to the wolves. He's never driven a boat before, and like you said, obviously I don't know how to drive a boat. <laughs> so he did all right, not bad. For his first time in being thrown to the wolves under the stress of a 30 plus pound fish on 10 pound test. So, <laughs> anyways, end up losing it, but hey, it happens. Uh, sad thing is, that was David's uh, platfall that I that hooked that thing on, and uh, so I owe him a platfall. Anyways, we're gonna try that again. What we're doing is we're drifting back and forth between these pilings here. We're just out, just off the North Island uh, in San Diego Bay, and we're just bouncing off the bottom through there. There's a lot of activity on the bottom. That's what we're trying to see. We've thrown pretty much everything we could at the spotties. Not everything, but well, uh, over it already. <laughs> and uh, trying something different. So that's what I ended up doing, throwing on that platform, and I hooked into that big. Uh, Think of what it's called I'll figure it out uh, but it's a type of skate big skate uh, anyways got him on that flat ball 10 pound test got him up to the bro boat and uh, ended up breaking, him off, breaking him off as I was getting ready to reach down and grab him by the tail so uh, win some you lose some and uh, but anyways we're gonna try again and see what we can find I've thrown on a Zuri flat ball and see what we can get through this area there's a lot of activity like I said so stay tuned Sorry, David. <laughs> the timing of that was impeccable, dude. Hooked into that, and as soon as I started bringing him up, we were at that piling. Yeah, it was really good. You're on the phone, too? Yeah, on the phone when I hook into it. <laughs> oh, nice little spot here. Come on out. Come on out. What are you? There we go. Nice little calico. Not bad on the flat fall. Come here, little guy. These are not the best conditions out here. They're out off of... Uh... GoPro froze up on me when I was... Uh, had that other calico on board. Didn't realize until I just turned around to go. Went to stop the recording. Well, it's frozen. So luckily, I believe it got that calico. Hopefully. If not... Try to get another one. Two down. Lost another one? 
Damn it. Looks like you're getting a little irritated. <laughs> It's all right because the conditions out here aren't the greatest it's kind of uh well ugly huh like weedless then i got weedless ones if you want a weedless jig head it's okay i don't lose it <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to lose your jig head I can't say I'm doing much better because I'm snagging stuff too. I just got hit on the drop. Oh, got hit right at the bottom, dude. Yeah. This is oh, a little calico. Barely even felt it. They're deep. Little guy. I'm trying to be gentle with you, I'm just gonna lip you. Man. Go on. Alright, so I'm gonna fish in the bay for a little bit. You know, was attempting to get some spotties. Uh, David landed himself a really nice spotty. Uh, he ended up going out uh, off the point to see if we could find some, some calicos. We did. Found a couple calicos. But uh, just really rough conditions out there, super ugly. Um, king tights and everything just made it really difficult to hold any position. Uh, a lot of the kelp was laid down to the point where we couldn't even see it. Um, and then, of course, the water was super churned up and murky. Um, but, anyways, all in all, it was a good time. Caught a number of fish. Uh, I got that angel shark up to the edge of the boat. Um, lost him when I was getting ready to grab him by the tail, but that's okay. You know, not something I would have kept anyways, just been nice to get him in the boat and land him. Legally landed. Uh, but, uh, anyways, I hope you like this. Uh, if you did, hit the thumbs up, hit like, subscribe, uh, and look forward to more videos coming out soon. Alright, thanks for watching.